here we have a problem where we're being given a, an original function, this blue function here. They're telling us it's the negative square root of x. And then we have a function that's the same function that's gone through a transformation, a vertical and horizontal transformation. So it looks like it's been pushed up two spaces and moved to the left four spaces. And we're supposed to write the formula for this. So how do we do that? Well, one thing that I would um, recommend to everybody if you're fooling around with graphs like this is to actually use a graphing calculator. There's a great one at desmos.com. I would definitely encourage you to fool around with that, and even just to check your work um, uh, before you answer. So uh, they started with the negative square root of x. I'm just going to start with the square root of x. So I'll click on the square root and just type in x. And there is our function. We call this the, the, the basic function or the mother function. Uh, and then you can transform this in a number of ways. When you put a negative sign in front of a function, its graph turns upside down. So this just turned upside down. Now this is the starting point for us. This was the, the function they started with. And we need to move that two spaces up and, and four spaces to the left. Translating graphs up or down, pretty easy. You just go to the end of the function and type in a, a plus or a minus. If I want to move down two, I would type in whoops, minus two. If I want to move up two, as I do in this case, I type in a plus two. It needs to be outside of the square root sign or any parentheses, just at the very end of your function. So that's vertical transformations, the up and down. Now the left and right usually happens within the, the square root sign or inside some kind of parentheses. And again, you're just going to add or subtract a number. We want to go to the left. So you might think I should subtract four and what you'll notice is that did the opposite. It moved it to the right four. So actually what we need to do is put in a plus four. And there we go. That's the function they were looking for. It's been translated up to and to the left four. Um, and this is our formula. So k of x equals negative square root of x plus four plus two. I hope that helps.